slide-in truck camper or flatbed truck camper. Which one is right for you? Today, I'm gonna to go through the differences and similarities of these two lightweight overland pop-up truck campers. Both of these campers are Hawks by four-wheel pop-up campers. This is their slide-in model, which fits on a six to six and a half foot bed. And this is their flatbed model, which also fits on a truck with a six and a half foot bed. So first, let's talk about how each of these campers is mounted to the truck. The slide-in camper simply slides into the bed of the pickup truck. It's mounted with four turnbuckles that hold it down. The flatbed is actually a much more intensive process. For trucks that don't already have a flatbed, you have to remove the bed of the truck, install a flatbed, and then the camper itself gets mounted on top of the flatbed and bolted in four different places. Both campers can be removed, but these are meant to be more permanent. They're not really meant to come on and off as often as you might do with a slide-in camper. The slide-in camper is meant more for someone who's gonna go out and go camping for a weekend, for a month at a time, and then when you get home if you want to, or even at the campsite, you can put on your jacks, slide the camper off, take the truck, and use it as a truck. Whereas this is meant to be essentially one whole vehicle with the flatbed, the camper, kind of being one piece. If you needed to, you could unbolt the camper, take it off, but the process for trying to get it lined up and everything bolted back together is gonna to be more difficult than it is with a slide-in camper. Despite the fact that these two lightweight pop-up truck campers are both Hawk models from four-wheel campers, there are a lot of size differences between the two. Now, the first big difference is how high each one of these campers sits. With the flatbed camper, because the flatbed is mounted over top of the frame and the camper sits on top of that flatbed, the bottom of the camper actually sits higher than the slide-in does. So it gives you a slightly higher center of gravity. In terms of the size of the campers, the Hawk slide-in is about 81 inches long, whereas the flatbed is right around 91 inches. So there's a, about 10 inches of difference between the length of these two campers. Now those are estimated, I'm just eyeballing a quick tape measure, but as you can see on the back of this camper, this actually flares out to give you more room. This is where the dinette is. So in essence, in this model, you actually have more room than you do in the slide-in. You also don't lose a portion of the camper because of the wheel wells. So you get this extra space here for storage and room inside of the camper. And we'll go in a bit later to show you the floor plan differences between the two. Another difference is the actual cab over. So the cab over on the flatbed is longer and taller than that on the slide in. So this one is about, let's see, 60 inches and it is 13 inches tall. The slide-in is about 47 and a half and about nine inches. Now the cab over section is where your primary bed is. And in our camper on the flatbed, that cab over bed is about the size or actually slightly larger than a full size bed. So we can sleep in there without any sort of extensions or that. On the slide-in model, that bed is significantly shorter than what is in the flatbed, meaning that if you want or need a larger bed, you have to use the slide-out that comes either in a standard queen or the optional king to get a larger, fuller size bed. Unless you're traveling single, then it doesn't really matter all that much. The other difference is the height. The reason why the cab over on the flatbed model is taller is because under the bed, there's actually a really nice storage area. We'll show you that later where you lift up the bed and you have all this extra storage underneath the bed, which makes this camper much more capable to carry more when you're going further. Now you're thinking to yourself, oh, 
why would I not get the flatbed camper? It's so much bigger, there's a lot more room. Well, bigger does mean more weight. The dry weight starting on a Hawk slide-in is around 1,100 pounds, and the starting weight for a flatbed is 1,325. Now, this model that we see here, the way it's optioned out, the weight on this one came out to just over 1,300 pounds. Our camper is over 1,600 pounds. Now add in the fact that you have a lot more storage on a flatbed, which means you're gonna be probably carrying more stuff. So you're gonna need more truck to carry more weight. That, and typically, the flatbed that you mount on your truck is gonna weigh more than the bed that you're taking off. So all in all, you're going to need more truck to carry all of this weight than you will with this. Another big difference between these two campers is where the entry door is located. Slide-ins have a rear entry, flatbeds have the side entry. Now if you notice, the bottom of the floor here comes to about my hips. If I go over to the flatbed, the floor is almost at my chest. Now both of these trucks have about equal amounts of lift, so they're pretty good comparisons. It takes a lot more to climb up and into a flatbed than it does the slide-in. The slide-in is much more accessible. But the benefit of having a side door is that if you wanna carry things or have accessories on the back, like we have this rear rack here, we carry our max tracks on the back, a trash can, some people put spare tires and numerous other things, those don't get in the way of the entry door and you don't have to open things up every time you wanna camp or just come in and out of the camper. A benefit you get with having a flatbed is that depending on the type of flatbed you get, you can have additional storage options. So on ours, we have the Norweld. This is their Weekender Deluxe. And we have storage cabinets on both sides, along with a storage tray that pulls out of the back, and an 11-gallon auxiliary water tank built into the tray itself. Now on the truck, you really don't have any external storage options. If you wanted to, you'd get something like this Illumines swing out storage box and add that to the truck. But there are people out there who see the benefit of having a flatbed, but at the same time, they want the ease of a slide-in. So what they'll do is they'll buy a flatbed, put storage boxes along the side of the flatbed, and then just slide a slide-in camper right on top of the flatbed. It works just as well as putting it in the bed of a truck but you get all the benefits of having a flatbed. We put the roof down on the slide-in model. So you can see the difference between having the roof down versus having the roof up. One of the things we so like about having a pop-top truck camper is that it's a lot more lightweight than a comparable sized hard-sided camper. You also have a lower center of gravity as well as more clearance, especially when you're off-road and things like trees and other obstacles can get in your way and potentially stop a much taller camper versus having a shorter pop-top camper. We've seen the exterior of both of these. Now let's go inside and see what big differences there are with the floor plans for each one of these pop-up truck campers. So here we are in the slide-in. Now the slide-in and the flatbed are both 80 inches wide. The difference with the bed, I'll measure the actual bed this time, goes, let's see, the mattress is 47 inches. So remember that number when we go over into the flatbed. If you do want a larger bed, as I mentioned earlier, this pulls out and you can either create a queen or go all the way out to a king. That king portion is actually an option. But you get that option with the flatbed as well. Now for this particular model, this is their side dinette. If you look next to the dinette, this is actually the bottom of the side of the camper. One of the things with a slide in is you lose room compared to the flatbed because of the wheel wells and the sides of the truck bed. Now this is gonna be the same on both sides. With the Hawk slide-in model, you have various floor plans that you can choose from. The side dinette, there is a side couch slash flip over bed, a front dinette model, 
or a shell model that you can build out or option however you want. With the flatbed, there's only the one model and the one floor plan. If you want to see a full walkthrough of this particular Hawk slide-in, we did that on our channel and I will link to it in this video. In terms of the amenities and options for this slide-in camper versus the flatbed, they're pretty much identical. You can option them all out with different refrigerators, stove, sink, furnace, fans, vents, uh, how much solar, if any, you want on the roof, what type of battery system you want. On ours, we are able to get an inverter as well. And it's, in terms of options, they're both about the same. It's more about the livability of the space inside that is the big difference between the two campers. So let's go over to the flatbed and you'll see what I'm talking about. And here we are inside the flatbed. So you can tell right off the bed is bigger. It's big enough for two people. This has the standard extension. There's a king extension that comes all the way out to this point. So you could sleep quite a few people, sleep front to back. You can sleep front to back in that one as well. But there's just more room in here. So let's measure it. So I believe I said the last one was 47 inches. This one, let's see, pull up the covers. So this is 60 inches. So a 13 inch difference between the two beds is quite significant. I also mentioned I'd show you the extra storage. Here it is. The storage goes all the way under the bed. There is, let's see, it's about, I would say four inches deep. Let's see, yeah, about four inches deep, which doesn't sound like a lot, but you're able to stack quite a bit I have, for example, my t-shirts, sweaters, and things in here. We keep different foodstuffs, things we don't have to access all the time, because the one downside of this storage is that when the top is down, you're not able to get under the bed. Since we live in here, this obviously looks more lived in, so you know, disregard all of this stuff back here that we've done, but in terms of amenities, as I mentioned, stove, sink, refrigerator, we have a furnace, hot water heater, uh, toilet in here, we have our battery bank, solar on the roof. That's all very similar between the two campers. One thing I really like about the flatbed is the seat here. So for this seat, you can actually sit here, make a cup of coffee, or do different things in the camper with the top down. And I'm able to do so without hitting my head on the roof. Now when the top is up in these campers, both of them have a height of 6'6". Six, six. So interior height of 6'6". Six, six. I'm 5'11". Gives you some idea of how tall the ceiling is in here. The way they set up these flatbeds is they have a rear dinette. In this area, under both cushions is all storage because the walls of the camper go straight down to the flatbed rather than having to have that cut out for the wheel wells and the side of the pickup truck bed. It gives you a lot more room and as I showed earlier, the measurements from camper to camper, this one is about, I believe it was 10, about 10 inches longer. So this is all extra room in the flatbed because that bottom curves up and then comes up from the flatbed. So you get more room in here. It feels more open. The countertops themselves are more at a normal level. In the other camper, they're higher. And the floor itself, there's actually more room inside. You're not going just front to back you have room off to the side. And for us, the livability in here is much better than you would get in a slide-in. Now we have done a full walkthrough of this camper as well. I will link to it in the video. The last big difference between these two campers is price. The Hawk slide-in shell model starts at 13,300. Standard equipped, it's just under $20,000. For the flatbed model, it's $9,000 more at $29,000 with the standard options for the flatbed. Now that is a big price difference, but you are getting more with the flatbed. The other thing to consider though, is with a flatbed, most people don't already have flatbeds on their trucks. So you're gonna pay anywhere from a few thousand dollars to over $10,000 for a flatbed to go along with your camper. So the investment on this side is gonna be much more. Now the reason we decided to go with the flatbed model 
was because of the livability. It had more room for the two of us since we live in it full time. But if we were just going out for weekends or shorter trips, we'd probably go with the slide-in model. Most of our friends and people we know who don't live in their camper full time tend to be in slide-in models because they're easier to take off and you can have your truck as a truck and not have to haul a camper around with you all the time. Whereas we leave this on permanently and it's our daily driver. We live out of it, we take it everywhere, and it is a completely different kind of thought of how you travel and how you live out of this compared to a slide-in. So if you are considering a pop-up truck camper, hopefully this gives you some idea of the differences between a flatbed and a slide-in and what might work best for how you want to camp and you want to travel. Because they're both great types of campers, it's just more dependent on how you're going to use it and what you want to use it for. Now we've done a lot of videos on our flatbed camper that you can find on our channel or head over to our website at wertherussos.com. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.